Now Hall, he's four and a half points behind. He needs to beat Bjornsson by four places minimum to have a chance of getting on the podium. And up against anyone else, you'd be thinking, well, who knows? But Bjornsson very much the king of the stones here. Stones heavier than ever before. So Eddie Hall on the left needs the run of his life. Let's see what he can manage. Well, he's straight up there. Bjornsson, though, matching him. It is very hot, very humid, very slippy. This is amazing. Hall's ahead of Bjornsson. This is a great performance from Hall. Look, he's up to number five. Can he do it? Enormous circumference, this stone. My this goodness! This is amazing. <laughs> Britain's Eddie Hall. Five stones. Do we have a new king of the stones? Oh, we certainly do. Bjornsson, though, finishing that fifth one has given himself a lifeline to stay on the podium. The beast! That was something else. That's an incredible time as well. Eddie Hall managing in about half the time that Burke managed it. Bjornsson, just over 31 seconds. Well, the whole world just went mad for a second there. Eddie Hall has just turned his worst event into his best. Representing Great Britain, Eddie Hall! There's a man who had trouble getting through a window. Eddie Hall. Representing Iceland, Hafnor Bjornsson! This guy's no cat burger either. Bjornsson, six foot nine. Ready, let's... Well, that's a quick start. Go. Worth remembering as well that Eddie Hall on the left, kind of playing with two fingers down, dislocated them recently. Go. This will carry with it some extra pain. He was also last in the first event. The frame carry, he just couldn't pick it up at all. So it's a horrible start for him to the world's strongest man grand final, but he's making up for it here. He's already bashed out four. Bjornsson just behind. Yes, good. Real poise and rhythm from Eddie. Number five, remember, they're chasing seven by Janashia and Brian Shaw, who just ran out of puff after a minute. 30 seconds to go. That was Eddie's sick, so he's close, one more. Bjornsson, he too is on six, so it's neck and neck. Well, the reps aren't timed, so they're both on seven. Yeah, we synchronised swimming for these two next. Incredible. <laughs> oh, Eddie's struggling now. Bjornsson, though, that was impressive. Can Hall get this? He can do anything. Bjornsson going for a ninth. Doesn't get it. I wonder if he thinks he has. I'd like to be the guy who tells him he uh, didn't. <laughs> That's a job for the work experience, kid. But well done, Eddie Hall. Both men, brilliant athletes. But that was a proper moment for Eddie Hall. He needed that, and he got it. I mean, Hall was in real pain. Bar went almost back down there, pressed it back up again. Is that a tear coming down his cheek? Goodness, what a fighter. Take your time, Eddie. He can do the impossible. The Beast. Eddie the Beast Hall. He's no stranger to world records, but even for him, this is a big jump, 10 kilos. To just going up by six kilos previously. Half ton deadlift here a year ago. He can do the impossible. He's shown he's got the strongest back in the world. How about the strongest shoulders? You bet he does. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> They're on their feet. Over 11,000 fans, and he delivers. Well, 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 we've seen yet another world record by Eddie Hall. This time it comes from his upper body, as strong as his lower.
I haven't got the genetic gifts that they've got, the assets, you know, I haven't got the levers, I haven't got the height. Whereas those guys have, you know, six foot nine, six foot ten. How can, how can a normal man compete with that? I'm only six foot three. The only way to do it is, is, is be as heavy as them. I might not have the levers or, or be as, as athletic and, and, and move as quick as them, but the one thing I've got is heart, and I will give it my all. I'm keeping up with them. I'm stronger than them. I know in my mind I am the strongest man on the planet. 24 years since a Brit stood on top of the podium at World's Strongest Man, but this guy, Eddie Hall from Stoke, probably stands a better chance than anybody. Let's see how he gets on in one of his favorite events here, Danny. There's enough, enough weight on his shoulders without this. I don't think Eddie Hall really thinks about the past. He's got a, a feeling of destiny in his future. He said many times he's going to win this contest. Now there's double figures. Look this is this. unbelievable. Over 30 seconds to go. He's already at 12. <laughs> Incredible oh, static events. 14. How far can he go? Yes. Oh. Yes. <laughs> 15 reps for Britain's Eddie Hall, just one of the greatest. That is actually the highest amount of reps on this bar in history. Look at that, he gave it his all. That's how much he wants it, Colin. He kind of went mad. <laughs> I think that's a great description, yeah. In comes the oxygen, there's Dr. Richard Smith and his team. He says, I'm fine though. Brian Shaw watching on, wow. He knows Hall's gonna put everything into this and he's gonna have to double down to beat him. Well, he beat those 13 reps and he put some distance as well for the other guys to make up. I mean, Hall's got a great squat, probably the best squat here, but that's for one rep. So Eddie went at it as fast as he could so he didn't tire. <laughs>
Eddie Hall would not let that go. And I, th wow, yes, I think maybe he should have. This is Hall looking a little worried, but it's uh, just the pressure on his body there. The nosebleed, Colin. Now that that's to do with. Well, it, it's just uh, very thin blood vessels. And when you're holding your breath that long, pulling such a heavy weight, and he was loving the moment, enjoying it, hanging on to it. And uh, a little blood can come out very easily. Well, the crowd willing Eddie to his feet. He is OK. Trying to cool him down. Relief, pure relief. In the face of his wife, but Eddie Hall has made history. Look at this again, Danny. Blood was already coming out there. He'd been holding his breath for a few seconds. Hadn't quite locked it out. That's the moment he got his hips through. And that's pure pleasure right there. He could have held it all day if he hadn't have, well, probably blacked out. Very different idea from pleasure to me. But look at the pleasure on the faces of all these people. The referee saying, down, put it down. It's a good lift, but no, enjoying the moment. Just wouldn't let it go until he was satisfied, until he'd really enjoyed it. History being made then in front of 10,000 people really took it out of him.